Alright, what's happening everyone? It's Abdallah, back again with another episode of Fire Emblem. On the previous episode, uh, we stormed, um, Kaelin, we went through some fog, and we met a general named Wallace. Um, he was a knight, a really heavy armored guy, um, and he forced himself to use a knight's crest, which evolves a member of your team to the next class. Um, I talked a little about a little bit about evolution, how you should only evolve your people at level 20, potentially, because that's where they cap out. And then once you evolve them, then they've got another 20 levels. So, um, unfortunately, he's a, a premature evolution, but we used him as a wall, hence the name Wallace. It was really funny, <laughs> ironic enough. Anyway, moving onward, um, we're closing in on Lundgren and Castle Kalen, so uh, let's see where this takes us. General Eagler has been defeated. Lynn and her band draw ever nearer to Castle Caitlin. Within the castle walls, Lynn's bitter enemy, Lundgren, awaits. A man who would kill his own kin for a throne. He is the source of all her troubles. He must be stopped. Chapter 10, The Distant Plains. Lady Lindis, you should be able to see Castle Kaelin once we pass these mountains. Grandfather, I will be with you soon. Everything rests on this next battle. Lundgren will not be receiving the reinforcements he expected. He'll move against us with everything he has soon. Let him come. Let them all come. I will not be turned away. I will see my grandfather. I've come too far to let anyone stand in my way. This is it, Abdallah Nation. This is our final test. My friends, for one last time, lend me your strength. Okay, let's look at this map. Okay, so we're all holed up over here. Um, it looks like there's waterways. A river that goes all the way this way. It goes down. Um, it goes down over here. It looks like there's a snag. You can break that in order to cross over. Um, these barbarians seem to be able to go through the mountains one, one space at a time. So this guy's eventually going to come over here. But I could take him out with Florina. Florina can, Florina can fly around over here. Um, let's look at everyone's weapons. Um, so we've got a lance. Um, he's got a silver lance and a javelin, so he won't be um, fodder for, you know, like Will or someone at a distance. Because he'll bust out his javelin and destroy us. Um, iron axe, iron lance, fire, flux, iron bow. You know, no real drops. No one has anything crazy. Um, I see a couple forts, so that means that people can spawn out of here. I see a vendor and I see an armory, so that's good. Uh, we'll make sure to use those. There's a village over here, so hopefully we get there quickly. Got a couple archers this way, a home. Um, I won't bring Florina this way because these two archers. Um, but I guess what it looks like is the fact that all these, the um, all our units that can't grow, go across water are going to have to take the long way, which is all the way this way. So, there we have it. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Alright, there's a text message ringtone. Alright, let's see who we have, who we're able to pick. Oh, we can actually bring everyone. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, Wallace. And we can bring Kent back, nice. Wrath has a bow and a sword for some reason. Okay, let's see. Everyone has the right items. Okay. Let's, let's trade up a little bit. I know Wrath has an extra vulnerary that Matthew could use. Dorcas, Lightning, Vulnerary, okay, Shortbow, you're okay, Heals, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, everyone's good. Except for this bow, um, who's got two bows, anyone has two bows? You do. Let's, um, yeah, let's trade, let's give, um, Wrath a Shortbow, just in case. I won't be using Wrath, but just in case he needs it. 
think I need a torch, so let's give the torch to this big guy. <laughs> and Wallace is too strong anyway. Okay, so I believe we are all set here. Alright, let's go to the formation. Boop. Formation, okay, so you know what? I'm gonna have Florina start flying over here and destroying those guys. So you can go over there. I'll bring my... Ooh. I don't know if these guys can cross water or not. But let's have Wrath round up the back. Okay, here's Wallace. You can stay there because you go really slow. Set. I want to say so. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so moving on. Alright, can't go across the water. Can't go across the water. You can fly anywhere. Okay, so 8 and 8. He's got a ooh, way bigger advantage. I don't even want to mess around with this guy, to be honest. Let's see, mountain, peak, peak, avoid, and defense. Oh my gosh. River doesn't give you any special boosts or anything. Alright, let's move Wallace on over. Let's jump inside this house. You can go in the house. Oh no, if I don't bring in the laundry now. Oh, hello, are you a soldier? Sounds like a hard life, especially when it rains. Rain must make it difficult for you to move around. I used to ride horses when I was little. Oh, I remember how those horses disliked the rain. It's better to be on foot when it's wet. Nomadic horses are trained on the plains, so they're so they're better with rain. But, well, rain just seems to make it hard for everyone to get around. The weather around here can change in no time at all. I recommend just staying in one place until the rain clears up. Okay, so there's a foreshadowing of things to come. Right, right. Right, I'll bring my main three guys and then my backups. Okay, Dorcas, you can, you can wait in the back. I'll play for Dorcas, or... <laughs> Alright, and Florina... <laughs> yeah, Florina's definitely not going down. Or over. Gosh! Come on now. Florina's at bay. Alright. You're gonna move one space, you're gonna keep on going. Alright, here they come. Those clouds look bad. It's gonna rain soon. Let's go, Abdala Nation. We should press on while we're still able. Okay. Okay, I need to destroy these archers. Fourteen. Alright, let's do it. Welcome back, Kent. Oh, Matthew. Hmm, no. Kill him off. <laughs> now Will's got to finish the job. Okay, this 
guy. Okay, everyone move out. Here we are. Ooh, over this archer. He's definitely gonna hit me. Yeah, I'll just stand there and eat that flame. Bam! Finish him off. Okay, so that archer is going to hit me, but that's fine. Lucius! destroy you. A fire broke. That's okay. I got another one. Here comes the rain. Hmm. So I can't move anywhere. Wow. Yuck. Finish him off, and level up, get some good numbers, please. <laughs> Why did I jinx it? That's terrible. Yuck. Besides him? Hmm. Alright, I think we're done here. Look, the clouds are breaking. This rain should stop soon. Alright, not soon enough. You're here to fight Lundgren, aren't you? Do you have enough weapons? Lundgren's no ordinary knight, he's a general. Iron weapons lack the edge to penetrate his armor. You need some if you need something, visit my father's armory. You should go to the shop next door to his too. They have many powerful weapons and items you can use against Lundgren. Head south across the river, you'll see them. Lundgren's a tricky one. He's destroyed the bridge. There's an old snag next to the river, though. If you knocked it over, you should be able to cross. Travel well. You fight for us all. Thanks for the tip, bud. But... Anyone needs help, so hmm. I don't think those guys are coming over. And the rain goes away. Draw this um, this archer here.
shaman. Okay, I think we're set. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Alright, so that archer is hopefully gonna hit. No, he didn't do it. Where's Big Loosh? 12, 24, he's gonna hit me 8, that's fine. And then I'll get Sarah behind him to recover. Easy. There you go, I like that crit. Bam! Too bad, it, too bad you didn't do it earlier, Lucius. Alright, move you. Over here. Sarah, you can cover. Actually, you know what? Here. Let's finish this guy off. Alright, now Urk can go right here. Now you can recover him. It all works out. What's this guy gonna do? Okay, Matthew. Matthew could ideally go right here. Let's get this journal. Lucius. some experience. Five is gonna hit me. Yeah, that'll be fine. There we go. See, we take care of our younger ones. Alright, so now there's a shaman coming. Almost coming. Looks like these barbarians are on their way. No more archers, so... This is a sword guy? No, he's a lance. This one's another lance. This one's a sword. I could bait out this one. Just to make sure. And this guy can only go... I mean, he can't even go past here. Let's bring out the cavalry. How about the shaman? Cool. Oh, Lucius, yes. Okay, let's go. I'll go right into his trap. What are you gonna do? You do two damage while I do eleven and possibly twenty-two. There we go. Using that weapons triangle, that's how we do it. Okay. Clouds look bad, it's gonna rain. <laughs> what should I go on this peak? Mountain? 
Mountain, mountain? Oh, that's not a peak. I should go on this one, shouldn't I? Maybe not yet. Let's get all my guys out first. This guy's going around. I could actually go destroy him if I wanted to. Let's. Let's do that. I'll have Kent... No, I'll have Sane go around and destroy him. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Yes, here. No, not on the snag. Why would I waste my time with the damn snag? <laughs> Alright. Oh, crit. Right off the bat. Holy cow. You're done, dude. Sword? No, you got a lance. So I'll make sure my lance is equipped. Wait, just to protect him, because this guy can... Ugh, he can still attack me. Uh-oh. Yikes. Hmm. Unless I kill him. 918. I need one more step. Nils? Yes, I got this. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Mmm. Okay, so Nils can go right there. That means that I can go here. I'll use Nils to bring me over. Give me an extra boost. And destroyed. See, that's how we play the game. Only 14. Ooh. I'm not getting any experience from these guys. what to do. Looks like I gotta break up into two teams again. What are you gonna do? rain, the sky looks mostly clear, it won't last long. Alright, on and off rain. Nice. Once you can do 12, I just hit him with Lucius. Unless, I, unless someone else needs experience. Nope. Not bad. purposely went on that spot so that next turn that guy comes out a little bit further and tries to hit me. I've got perfect health, so I'm okay. Skill, speed, and luck. Come on, I need some strength here. Hmm. 
protect the snag. No, I should go in this village. You finally made it here, have you? Such a long way. We're all behind Lady Lindis, all of us. Here, take this. Use it in battle against Lundgren, please. It's an energy ring. It'll increase your strength and magic power a bit. There are lots of items that augment your abilities. These are hard to come by, so think carefully before you use them. Of course, not using them at all would be such a terrible waste as well, right? Items like this might vanish once you've used them. Bear in mind, and use them wisely. Ooh, energy ring, excellent. So that is kind of like um, that angelic robe that we used. I kind of want to look at it. Um, increases magic or strength by two points. Vanishes after use. So that's just... Um, well, it's kind of like protein if we're, think if we're thinking Pokemon here. Forget that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're just going two spots anyway. Yes, bring it on. Oh my god, you're gonna do seven? Holy cow, I underestimated. That's okay. Seven fourteen. Ooh. Still, not a single hit on her. What's here? Right, who's gonna break this stick? Matthew, hiya! <laughs> right, break this stick. Moving on. Alright, let's move downward. Anyone help? Help. Matthew needs help. Okay. Dorcas, how, how can I forget about you? That's right. I think that's all the reinforcements. Well, you can pick off at these guys. Right? Well, two out of three. destroy him. Alright, way to go, work. Okay, what items? You're full of items. You don't have any items. Yes! Okay, here we go. I need a bunch of this stuff. Wow, I need a heavy spear. What is this thing? Effective against knights. Lance, cool. Armor slayer, cool. Steel bow, I'll take two of them. Hammer, I'll take one more. Alright, let me get one steel bow. Actually, let me get two. Let me get an armor 
Death Slayer, and I don't think I have enough room. Okay, that's fine, so I need a Heavy Spear on the next turn. That's exciting! Okay, you can buy one thing, or visit this house. You know, you should really visit the Armory next door. They've got all, all you need if you're fighting against Knights and Generals. You need something to defeat Lundgren, right? Once he's been beaten, maybe peace will return to Kaelin. Good luck to you. Yahoo! Come on, Dorcas. How many items you have? You don't have any items. Nice. See what's inside here. Vulnerary hero, fire, thunder, light. Okay. I could use one of each of them. Oh my god, I don't have enough money. Yikes. Ugh. I went a little crazy buying stuff a little earlier. I gotta find out what I have and what I need to sell. Just one little hit, it won't hurt. Give me eight experience points. Fire has 40 on it. I don't have light. What is it? Lightning it was? Okay, lightning is gonna run out, so I need that. I need to buy light. And my heels. Wow. They may just run out too. I don't have a thunder though. Twenty-five. I need a heavy spear. Mm. We have a lockpick. I need those lockpicks. Vulnerary, pure water. What you need? Okay, we just 
dropped all of our money. fight. out that javelin. This is my realm, and you've entered without my permission. You will not leave these lands alive. Wow, he actually hit me for one damage. Okay, so I'll hit him for six damage. him a bit. Okay, 
really all I can do. Because if I get any closer with any of these guys... They'll hit me 17. Oh my god, I will die. So the strategy is to get Wallace over there by Lundgren. And just pick at him. Doesn't seem to be working well. Do I have an item that destroys Armor Slayer? It's a sword. He can't equip it. Oh, I have a hammer. Dorcas has got a hammer. Come on, Dorcas. Let's go. Oh, yes, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I should have thought about that. No worries. Lundgren! Tell me you have a vulnerary. You do. Okay, great. Here, take this. Oh, you can't use it. Ugh, weak. What am I gonna do? Ugh, here, I got an idea. No! Okay, yeah, you need to rescue him. <laughs> that was a close one. Don't you have an axe or something? Because I think that's what I really need to do. Alright, next turn. Iron Axe. And don't you have an Iron Axe too? Yes, you do. Might as well get that experience. Okay, there we go. Now it's going to go a lot quicker. Now I got my axe in hand. <sighs> Alright. So, as of right now, I'm going to speed things up a little bit because, uh... I'm going through the level right now and just making sure that I can get Lundgren's HP all the way down enough so that Lynn can actually come in and deliver the final blow without risking her life. Because as you can see on the screen, she does, uh, well, she does nothing compared to him. He'll, he'll totally destroy her if, uh, if we're not careful and we pick at him a little bit. So just speeding things up and uh, we'll resume off in a little bit. So I'm just moving some people around and just double checking to see if Link can do it. Uh, but this is the ultimate way to do it, and so you can get that extra um, little conversation at the end. Because if you beat all the bosses with Lin, Lin says a little conversation. It's kind of cool to see it. 
And plus, I mean, this is the ultimate, uh, the ultimate battle, so Lin's gotta destroy him. I can't just have Wallace kill him. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't possibly just press the easy button and do that. So, nonetheless, um, we'll go through and, uh, we'll speed this up. Alright, the moment we've all been waiting for. Alright, let's see if we can pull it off. So you're the girl claiming kinship with my brother. You'll play this farce to the end, won't you, Lundgren? The royal house of Kaelin has no need of a Seikhaean mongrel. I'll put an end to this foolishness here and now. To further your own black ambitions, You've harmed my grandfather in the very land you ought to serve. I have neither pity nor mercy for you. Lundgren, prepare yourself. Welp. Oh my god. Nice. Got him. That annoying little girl. Nothing but a savage from Seike. The Kaelin throne should be mine. Ugh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and that's it. Let's heal up. Alright, that ending there took a little while. Okay, great. Thank you. Anyone need any help? I think we're all set. Okay. Oh, I guess Lynn has to seize. Drop this guy here. Move up a little bit. You can finish healing him and break your heal. That's perfectly fine. Alright, and Lin, you're taking it. We've won at last. I can see my grandfather. Lady Lindis, are you not? Who are you? I am Reesman, the Chancellor of the Kalen Royal Family. I had received word from Kent and Sane when you first met, but then Lundgren discovered the message and imprisoned me. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to your true home. Thank you. May I see my grandfather now? Yes, of course. Do not be shocked by what you see. Lundgren has been poisoning the Marquess's meals for some time. His body has been ravaged. He's bedridden for months. Who is there? I said no visitors. I will see no one. Hmm. What are you doing? Leave me to die. Um, pardon me. My name is... I'm Lindis. Eh? Did you say Lindis? Is that... 
My father's name is Hassar, chieftain of the Lorca. My mother was Madeline. I was raised on the plains. Hmm? Could it be? Come, come here, let me see your face. Oh, yes, there is no doubt. You are Madeline's true-born child. I, uh, uh, grandfather. Give me a hug. Lundgren told me that my daughter had died. My heir and you too. He told me you were dead. Thank you. Thank you for living. Ah, I'm blessed. Mother and father were slain last year by brigands. I... I was the only survivor. I lived on, but... Lindis, please forgive a prideful old man. If I had but as accepted your parents' love, there would have been no bandits. We would have lived here together in a perfect place. Grandfather, my parents, my tribe. Our life was one of love and peace. The end was tragic, but up until the attack, we were truly happy. Truly? Madeline had a life of happiness? Knowing that gives me so much joy. Thank you, Lindis. I can die in peace now. No, Grandmother, you mustn't say that. Grandfather, why did I say Grandmother? No, Grandfather, you mustn't say that. There's no avoiding it, Lindis. I've taken too much poison for far too long. It's too late. Be brave, Grandfather. You will recover, believe me. On the plains, we say that illness fails in the face of a strong heart. I'm with you now. You mustn't give up. You're with me. Yes. We have so much to talk about, walks to take, music to listen to. There's so much I want to do with you, so much time we can recover. That does sound nice, doesn't it? And once you're well, I'll take you to the plains. I'll show you the endless sky and oceans of grass. I want you to know the lands my mother loved so much. The lands Madeline loved. You're right, I still have quite a bit of living to do. You can do it, Grandfather. Lindis. Lady Lindis, do you honestly plan on remaining here? Tell me truly. Yes, until my grandfather is well. I can't leave him now, I won't. The physician says that Lord Hausen looks like a new man. It's like he was never ill. And it's all thanks to you, milady. He's the only family I have left. I want him to have a long life. Lady Lindis. What is it, Florina? I've been taken into service by House Kalen. From here on, Lynn. I mean, Lady Lindis. We'll be together always. Really? Oh, that pleases me so, but... Please don't call me Lady Lindis. For you, I'm still just Lynn. My Pegasus and I fly for your house now. I am your servant. There are rules to follow. Florina! I'm happiest when I'm with you. That's more important than how I address you. Please. I suppose I'll just have to get used to it, right? Very well, I understand. Oh, thank you, I do love you, Lynn. Oops, I mean, Lady Lindis. Ha, <laughs> oh, Florina. Lady Lindis, I've decided to stay too. Will, weren't you planning on returning home? Well, I was, but I've grown quite fond of Lindis' legions, you know. I couldn't possibly leave everyone behind. I'll send word to my family regarding my decision. I'm pleased to have you, Will. Thank you, me lady. Abdallah Nation, you're leaving, aren't you? No, I'm not asking you to stay. It's just, I'll miss you. When I found you unconscious on the plains, I had no idea we would be together for so long. You've helped us so much, and I'm sure you've learned all you can from us. You'll do just fine on your own. I have the utmost faith that you'll be a master tactician, Abdallah Nation. That's from someone who's seen you at work. Well then, take care. I, I hope to see you again. I'm sure that I will someday. Alright, Kent. For his bravery in fulfilling his command, Kent is named Knight Commander of Kalen. It is a high honor for one so young, but no one denies his worth. Sane. Sane has earned the honor of being named Subcommander of the Kalen Knights. Despite his promotion, he still scoffs at authority and woos village girls. He is much loved by citizenry. Florina. 
Florina has a range to stay in Kaylin. She spends her every waking hour in rigorous training, hoping to become invaluable to Lynn. Her fear of men has lessened, but only slightly. Will. With his cheery outlook and his happy-go-lucky demeanor, Will has become quite dear to Marquez Kaylin's household. Kent is teaching him manners befitting a sworn man of Castle Kaylin. Dorcas. Once Lynn's true heritage is recognized in Kaelin, Dorcas returns to his home in Bern. There he cares for his wife and makes a good living as a mercenary fighting local bandits. Sarah. Ultimately, Irk succeeds in seeing Sarah safely to Ostia. While her behavior is irritating at best, she is sorely missed. Her acerbic tongue has become legendary. Irk. His contract with Sarah complete, Irk sets off to Euturia. His time as a mercenary is part of his training, and he is glad to see it end. He has since returned to his mentor. Wrath. In the celebration following Lin's return to Kaelin, Wrath slips out unseen. Whether he has returned to Seike or has continued his work as a mercenary, no one knows. Matthew. Matthew vanishes after the final battle, and his whereabouts remain a mystery. Nils. Nils and his sister, Ninian, take their leave of Castle Kaelin after a few days. He may well be traveling the land, mastering his musical skills somewhere. Lucius. Lucius studies in Kaelin for a time, but he departs after receiving summons to another land. He has since been seen traveling with the hard-eyed mercenary. Wallace. For Wallace, Lin's struggle only whets his appetite for battle. He sets off in search of a cause worthy of his blade. He lacks any sense of direction, so it may be years before he returns. Abdallah Nation. He leaves Lin to continue his training. He plans on traveling throughout Lycia. Lin refuses to say goodbye, believing in her heart that she will see him again. Lin, I'll miss you. Lin, the sword fighter from Seike. All right. Lin now lives with her grandfather as Lady Lindis of Castle Kaelin. Under her loving care, Lord Hausen recovers, and now the two of them go for many walks in the Kaelin Gardens. On clear, dry nights, Lin can be seen high atop a hill near the castle. Perhaps she is remembering the home of her youth, the Plains of Seike. Here ends Lynn's story. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Would you like to continue playing? Sure. As of Chapter 11, Elwood becomes the story's main character. Abdallah Nation's role will be to act as a tactician, aiding his group. Help Elwood to fulfill the chapter goals and fight his way to the end of the game. You'll start your first campaign with Elwood, uh, then meet his friend Hector in Chapter 12. And who knows, you might even meet Lynn again. If any of these three is defeated, your game will be over. The game will continue if any other allies are defeated. Allied units are defeated. However, if a defeated unit can never take part in combat again, so be careful. Ah, we already knew that. One year later. Okay, so that concludes Lynn's story. We defeated Lundgren, and now she's in the castle being, uh, being heir to the throne, helping out her grandpa and uh, with all her friends nearby. So we're going to start off um, Elliewood's chapter. So we'll talk to you on the next episode.